So this is the Open Data Portal, and uh, what it is, it is it is a website through which people can access uh, basically databases uh, in a very convenient way. And the thing is that if you kind of look at it like that, there's a lot of things that are just like this, except they're a lot less convenient. Basically, almost all of the web is ways of accessing information that's stored in some database. And they're just very, and like how easy it is to get out of it. Uh, so we're gonna be looking at a bunch of sites today that uh, are not very easy to get the data out of it, but ultimately there's some database behind <coughs> it that can have some very interesting things. Uh, and, uh, you know, like, so this is perhaps, and I, the thing is, is that like when we're dealing with these data, this is gonna be, uh, it is a lot less convenient to get out of it, and so it kind of makes a lot of sense to actually have a, a reason <laughs> to do it in the first place. And so I think that what uh, I'd like to do is maybe go through a couple exercises of looking at you know, some of the, some of the data sources that you could, um, that we've kind of collected, and maybe kind of come up, try to come up with a couple compelling use cases for what that you uh, uses of that data. Um, but half of you people have to get off of the internet so <laughs> I can use it, or else it's going to be a very, very boring time. I just contributed my disconnection. I appreciate that. Now the rest of you. Get that. <laughs> uh, right. I'll try that one. Maybe that site's down. Is your internet working for it? Internet is not working. Oh, here we go. Okay, great. Oh, man. So this is, uh, right, so this is, this is perhaps about the most compelling example, but basically, here you have a database. There, like, behind all this, I guarantee you that there's a database that is serving up in tabular format uh, information of all the, uh, <coughs> roofers that are licensed by the state of Illinois. So one thing that could be like, you know, one thing that could be quite interesting is they actually have this for a whole bunch of different professions. One thing that you could maybe imagine is, is that like, well, what is what is the count of, if you started collecting this now, then over like in 10 years, you could start to ask the question of like, well, what happens to different professions over time? What happens to different professions when you uh, across space because you actually have an address? You know, like where is, like where are the big booms going? Where, like, when you have an economic recession, like, who are the place, like, where are the, where are the professions that come back fast? Like, you know, this is, uh, where are the shortages, right? You know, like, because uh, we have all this, like, this, this same, the Illinois, Illinois Department of Financial and Professional Regulators, like, has the same data for doctors, for chiropractors, for, like, about, you know, like, over 100 different professions. And so, like, uh, they don't all have it to this level of, uh, of detail to the address, but they all have them to the city, right? So you could begin to think about, okay, here's some interesting questions that, that maybe would make it worthwhile of writing a pretty simple scraper to kind of pull out this tabular data into something that would be easier to work with. But like over and all, like, but you know, so that's kind of, I think we'll go through a couple of things about that. Two things that I've been thinking about with these data for the past uh, week and a half is, the, is contracts, um, so we're just going to go over here, right? So, the, this is this is the this is actually the data that's driving uh, that view. So, uh, so here we go. What do we got? So just like most websites are a spreadsheet and then a web page, ours is too. Basically. Right. So think of whenever you see a website, think about what is the spreadsheet behind it look like. All right. So...